Today it's time for Tray 7 or Decadent Choco Cake Tower Level 7 with one of my favorite bosses here today, Doomstar. And we're going to break it all down for you in today's episode. Thank you for tuning in. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you got a question or comment along the way, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you as always. And feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. So let's get into it here because this is a fun one nonetheless and one of my favorites due to the strategy around this. Um, and we're going to break it down, like I said, for today. We're going to give you the four T's. That's the tactics, the team, the treasure, and the toppings. D skits as well in order to help you succeed and take down Doomstar. Now, a couple other things. We'll go for a run and we'll pull it all back together as we always do. That's all available to you down below in the timestamps. You can check that out uh, there if you need in the description. All right, so let's get into it here. Doomstar X1 Protection Unit. This thing applies attack and attack speed debuffs when attacked with multiple regular attacks within a certain period of time. This enemy protects themselves with a hit shield and becomes enraged when the shield is broken. When enraged, their attack and attack speed increases. Try using periodic damage as it counters hit shields. So a couple things here, it's the ticks. Lots and lots and lots of ticks. I think it's about 30 plus. So getting lots and lots of hits in is the way that you're gonna remove this shield. Keep that in mind as you build out your teams. Now, a couple things here, it does hit pretty hard. Autonomous interception system attacks one random target each strike. Energy barrier gains a hit shield. That's what we we're talking about. Uh, Planet destroyer deals damage to targets within a certain area. The targets become zapped and shocked. So getting that removed can be a big thing. Um, and then EMP field fires an EMP projectile at the nearest target, dealing damage to it and other targets within the impact range, silencing them. So the recommended cookies here, we have prune juice, we also have affogato cookie and mushroom cookie. So this is all for those ticks. There are other characters there to use and we're gonna break that down in our team. Now, a couple other things many of you always ask about or talk about right now, the special conditions. I actually think this is a benefit to us. Min cookie level is 70, so if you're below, it's gonna bring you up. I have seen people beat with level 70s, maybe not this one yet, um, but many other episodes or uh, trays. Now, min cookie level, uh, skill level 70. This is really a big one. And the last one there, the min grade is five star. Now, everything else gets X except for biscuits. So it's very, very important to load up your biscuits, use those things um, because it's very, very important there um, in terms of being able to get through. Your, your toppings still count, but not the topping bonus effect. So that's key there. Um, for all those pieces. Now, a couple things around this. Um, I believe that's very balanced. That's why I like doing this and why the strategy is very important to me. Um, not only because that's why I like covering on this channel, but in general as, and in general as a free to play player. All right, so here is the team. No, I'm just kidding. This is our jungle team from a previous one. I absolutely love this team. I did try it just to see. You can get a lot of hits in. It's just not strong enough. Um, this is the team that we are absolutely gonna use this one right here in order to get by. So let's break this down. We have no defense cookies this time. We're actually doing this a little bit different. We have two healers. So making sure that we can stay alive with those healers. We have golden cheese in the front. You can lose golden cheese, but that revive is gonna come back um, and allow you to continue to use golden cheese and get through the episode. Um, additionally here, we do have um, lovely prune juice, giving you the guy with many uh, hits as well, giving you some of that survival and then also getting the ticks off with prune juice, kind of like the recommended cookie as it said. Other great ones to do multiple hits, are creme brulee and golden cheese. Other ones, if you're interested, um, things like rye, sometimes even uh, moonlight and uh, black pearl as an example, sherbet, um, lots of things that you can find to give lots of ticks, lots of hits um, that make a big difference. Milky Way as an example as well. However, this is the team that I use uh, to get by. This is the team we will use in today's video for you as well. Now, a couple other things. We are focused on attack and cooldown, partly for a couple of reasons. One, when we do get those ticks off, we wanna be able to get massive damage in quickly, and we wanna make sure our movesets are resetting quickly um, because that's where we get all of our ticks in. It's not on the regular attack. So those are all things to keep in mind. Um, other things that you could switch into, Librarians and Chan Robes. If you have some issues with survivability, you may wanna switch to Disciples Magic Scroll. Um, Grim Looking Psy for a little bit more burst damage if you wanted um, there as well as some other alternative ideas. So that, my friends, is the, the team, the, the uh, treasures. Now let's talk about the toppings and biscuits. 
as always, we have all the guides here on the channel, the playlists, and those things are down below for you that you can check out as well. And um, we always recommend Radiant or Resonant, as we like to call them here, when it makes sense, just like Golden Cheese. Then making sure that you're taking advantage of your beast kits here. Generally, um, if you can have two sub stats, it's going to be a huge, huge help. That's generally what I have on most of my cookies. Um, I'm not doing the attunement. I recommend that you can absolutely do that. Um, I am just a uh, crystal hoarder, if you've seen that. Um, and you can check out our farming guide here on the channel as well. So a um, couple things here as we're on attack. Here we're on cooldown. Um, here we're on cooldown. Here we're on attack. And here we're on cooldown. So again, really on attack and cooldown, primarily for these two, for survivability, getting the, getting the skills out quickly, and then healing those kinds of things. So that is where we're at with this team. We're at 1.26 million, so only about 200,000 200, off. That's probably one of my closer, stronger teams relative to where the boss has been for a lot of these levels. Um, so it's it's a good matchup regardless. So let's go ahead. If you still got questions, if you got comments about this, do let me know because I love to hear from you. Love seeing your other alternative teams, those kinds of things. Um, swing by the Discord server as well. All right, let's go for it here and make it work. It could be very, very close. As we always say, a lot of luck or a little bit of luck can go a long way in this game. Um, one of the problems that we could run into is just some of those ticks not hitting when we need them to hit, um, those kinds of things. So it's actually 40, not 30. Um, as you can see, we'll start to get lots of stacks on there. Here we go. If you watch, you'll start to see that life really, really fall off, which is a crucial component of the skill. Uh, well, the strategy of this team. Obviously, again, tons and tons of ticks there. There we go. We got a nice big hit. Ideally, when you get to about a minute, just like us, you want to be over halfway. We're over halfway at the moment it's a good baseline a good benchmark for you um golden cheese is still doing just fine here we haven't lost any of our cookies keeping everything up as you can see doomstar can do a ton of damage um, on your team which can become a problem however we do have the right mix one million left can we do it right here my friends and there it is 14 seconds left a great run for us here today for Trey 7, Decadent Choco Cake Tower, Level 7, and the Doomstar, my friends. And that team will get you right on through. The nice thing about this, too, is you'll be at 5-star. We're only 1-star Ascension here. Um, obviously, we're a little bit higher with Snapdragon, but everything else should be repeatable in terms of what we have and what you can use uh, in order to be successful here and take down the Doomstar for your Level 7 boss. So with that, my friends, we have now completed the guide for you today on Decadent Choco Cake Tower Tray 7 Doomstar X1 Protection Unit. Everything that you need to know with our four T's, the tactics, the team, the treasure, and the toppings, plus biscuits, in order to get by and succeed and continue to go onwards and upwards. So with that, please let me know if you got questions. Love to hear from you as always. And thank you. Thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community here. On top of that, thank you as always to our members. Memberships are available to you. We also have affiliate links, other things that you can check out if you're looking for things. Um, those are nice ways to support the channel. Something for everyone as we like to say as well. Lastly, don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected, my friends. Love to see you in our amazing community and Discord server. A lot of stuff going on. And I love seeing what you're posting and everyone's posting there as always. With that, let's get back to it here. Keep on climbing the Choco Cake Tower. We got more headed your way as always, my friends, and keep on running.